so it's finally time to go back to school. And if you guys are anything like me, you're not really a morning person, so you don't really want to get dolled up in the morning, just want something nice and easy. So after drinking some coffee, of course, we can start our makeup by priming our face. I am using this e.l.f. one to put a nice base on our face to apply our makeup and cover up our pores. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind in Light. Just covering up under my circles for any darkness and all along my T-zone to make it nice and bright. And I am just blending all of that in with my finger, even onto the eyelids to cover up any darkness up there or veins because we are not going to be doing eyeshadow with this look. It is a super simple look. So blend that all in, all the redness along our nose and everything like that. Then I'm going to set it with the same way I always do with this e.l.f. brush and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder so your concealer lasts all day and your mascara doesn't smudge onto it. Then I'm going to move on to powder. I'm not doing a foundation or BB cream for this look because I don't think it's really necessary in high school. You still have useful skin and your pores aren't too big yet. And I just don't think it's a good habit to get into anyway when you're still that young. So this Neutrogena one is actually good for your skin and gives good coverage as a powder. And blending it all along my face. Then we are going to cover up any spots you have left that need extra coverage with a stick concealer. Moving on to bronzer, I'm using this NYC one. It's really nice and I'm just warming up my face with it. On my cheeks, up on my forehead, down my temples, and of course blending it onto my neck. Now for brows, I'm going to use two Milani products, the Eyebrow Kit in Light and their Liner in Taupe. Using the lighter shade in the middle to fill in my brow with the pencil it came with, but I realized I didn't really like it, so I switched to this Echo Tools one, and it applied much better. So I just lightly fill them in with the powder, and then define the outside a little bit better with the pencil, and add on to the tail a bit more, and brush them out. Then I do my other eyebrow, of course, but it's my better brow, so it doesn't take quite as long. And then I'm going to set them with this e.l.f. Brow Setting Gel. So they stay in place throughout the whole school day. Then I'm going to move on to mascara. I'm just curling them with this e.l.f. curler. And I'm not going to get too in-depth with how I do my mascara because I just did a tutorial on my routine as my last video. I'll link it below. But basically I use one of my favorite mascaras and I always use CoverGirl Clump Crusher as a top coat and on the bottom lashes. I'm going to be up any excess mascara and getting the water out of my waterline so I can apply a nude liner because it's going to open up our eyes even more so we don't look quite as tired. Moving on to blushes is one of my favorites. It's Luminoso. It's one of the baked blushes by Milani in a really pretty peach shade and I just love their baked blushes. And I also really love their eyebrow kit because it's so versatile. They have a highlight shade, which I'm using to go under my brow bones, down my nose, my cupid's bow. And I always highlight the inner corner of my eyes too, but I somehow forgot here that I'm going to use a larger Echo Tools brush to get the cheekbones and use excess to brighten up my eyelids just a little bit. After this, we're going to do lips. I'm not a really big lip gloss person. And I feel like lipstick's a little too much to wear throughout the whole school day, but I do like having a little bit of color on my lips, so I'm just using this kind of light lipstick, more like a tint and moisturizer by Wet n Wild on my lips, and using a setting spray to make sure our makeup lasts all day. And by the time I finish my makeup, I don't really have a lot of time left to do my hair, so I like to do something more simple. I usually just kind of throw in a ponytail, but this is a way to make it actually cute. So you just flip it over and you want to hold your ponytail up kind of high, like right on the base of your head, and as if you would see it from the front. And you brush out all the knots, of course, still holding that ponytail very tight and still right on the top of your head. I would secure the ponytail while looking down and you hold the base very tight and I would suggest using a tighter elastic as well. Once you get the ponytail in there, you're just going to flip it over like this and pull the base. It's going to make this cute little ponytail that goes around your head that you can see from the front. And I like to pull up my baby hairs because I think it adds a cute little touch to it. And I also loosen up my hairs a little bit. You can use your finger, your brush, or a comb, which is what I'm doing. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is supposed to just be a cute little effortless ponytail look but I don't like it too tight, 
so I'm just loosening up a bit, then you're done with the hair. I'm going to move on to my outfit. I always kept it pretty casually cute for the first day of school because, to be honest, no one's going to remember your outfit on the first day a year later or probably even a week later. And of course we have to abide by the school rules, so I just pair this striped tee and jeggings. Both are from Kohl's, the top is from Mud, and the jeggings are by Levi's, which I rolled up because it's still pretty hot in the beginning of the school year. And I just paired it with these sandals from Old Navy and a cute little necklace. And that is it. I wish you guys the best of luck if you're going back to school this year, and I hope this helped you out. See you soon. Bye!